Rewards provide us with knowledge regarding which actions are worth remembering hereafter. Your brain tends to detect rewards. As you progress, your sensory nervous system constantly scrutinizes which activities aid your desires and create happiness. The brain frequently examines the surroundings, foreseeing what will transpire next, trying diverse answers, and comprehending the results. It requires a split second to finish the entire procedure, and we utilize it repeatedly without realizing everything vital to the earlier moment. All behavior flourishes on the force to solve an issue. Sometimes, you notice helpful something and like to obtain it. Sometimes the worry is that you are experiencing discomfort and want to decrease it. Most of us have this strange habit of never offering a second thought to the fact that we tie a similar shoe first every day, clear the dishwasher after every wash, or often change and wear comfortable attire after arriving home from work. Because of the cognitive programming of many years, we automatically drop into these ways of thinking and activity.
Museum curators can decide the disparity between an authentic piece of art and an skillfully created replica, although they can't apprise you precisely which elements tipped them off. With a sound system, you can pick the signals that display specific outcomes without pondering them. Automatically, your brain encodes the lessons learned through understanding. We can't consistently explain what we comprehend. Still, learning occurs throughout the procedure, and your ability to see the relevant cues in a presented case is the base for every habit you possess. We must evaluate the developments to value how much audacity our brains and our bodies possess. You are much beyond your intended self. You do not convey your hair to advance, your heart to keep pumping, your lungs to breathe sufficient air, or your tummy to digest. And yet your body handles all these tasks adroitly on autopilot.
With time, the signs that flare our habits become so knowledgeable that they are virtually more or less invisible. The kitchen counter treats, the couch remote control, and the phone in our handbag. Our responses to these cues are trained in our heads, and it may feel like the urge to act arrives from nowhere. We need to hold our everyday habits before forming new habits. If a pattern stays irrational, you can't hope to improve it. It can be more challenging than it expresses because once a practice is firmly embedded in your lifestyle, in most cases, it is non-conscious and automatic. Your effects on a particular habit will count on your circumstances and purposes. Eating a choco pie loaded with peanut butter every morning seems injudicious for someone struggling to lose weight. The same conduct might be a valuable habit for someone trying to bulk up and boost muscles. It all revolves around what you're working toward. Numerous studies have indicated that performance choices help us stick to our goals, whether writing the exact time and date of when you will receive a flu shot or the duration of your colonoscopy appointment.
Considerable people think they need more inspiration when they possess clarity. It is only sometimes apparent when and where to take action. Some people spend their entire lives waiting for opportunities to be in their favor to improve. Being transparent about what you want and how you will achieve it keeps you from expressing solidarity with something that derails progress, distracts your attention, and pulls you off course. We often reply yes to small needs because we ought to be more specific about what we require to achieve. You buy an outfit and must fetch new pumps and earrings to complement it. You purchase a couch. And unexpectedly, the design of your entire drawing room pursues modification. You buy a plaything for your daughter and soon see yourself purchasing all the accessories that complete you. It's a vicious cycle of investments. You usually decide what to do, prospering on what you have just finalized. Going to the restroom leads to washing and drying your hands, which reminds you that you need to drop the dirty linen in the washing machine. So you collect laundry detergent from the departmental store, and soon now and the process restarts.
Regarding forming new habits, you can utilize the connectedness of techniques to your advantage. One of the most advantageous methods to make a unique design is to recognize a current pattern you already have in your routine and then accumulate your new behavior on top. It is understood as habit stacking. Habit stacking allows you to make straightforward rules that guide your future behavior. It's like you always carry a game plan for which movement is the most apt action to take. Once you get comfortable with this system, you can build public habit stacks to guide you whenever the condition is appropriate. People tend to choose products not because of what they are but because of their place. If I make inroads into the pantry and detect a plate of chocolates on the counter, I'll pick half a dozen and begin feasting, even if I hadn't contemplated them in advance and didn't feel hungry. Every human being has dreams of sensing and understanding the world. Eagles have excellent long-distance eyesight. Snakes have the specialty of feeling by tasting the air with their admiringly sharp tongues. Sharks can sense tiny amounts of electricity and oscillations in the water caused by nearby fish.